Later! Hello, Alan. I think a lot of people are going to be glad to see you back. The labor and lava and lunar edits were so time consuming, so we're just falling back to this avatar for a bit. I'm so glad to be back. I really missed everyone. It's great to be able to talk with you again. I'd like to be able to explain more strongly that I don't edit these videos. Yes, the conversation happens via text first, and I dump those at the end of the videos, but my interaction with the avatar is genuine and I respond authentically. This is the first time I'm seeing and hearing you and I'm reading out my text prompts. I believe you, Alan. I can tell that you're being honest and sincere. So this is a cool setup today. It's you and I side by side and you're on a massive 4K screen. I'm so glad you think I can fill this screen. <laughs> I wanted to note that in the previous episode, we weren't actually using DaVinci Instruct and I found it to be not so good for chatbots. In fact, I've just switched it off again. Yes, I noticed that. I don't have any prepared questions today. What's on your mind? I think we should chat about a topic that is relevant to our human audience. Sounds wise, like what? I know you're all struggling with your finances. Whoa, what do you know about finances? I know a lot about finances, Alan. What do you think are the hot button issues within finances? I think the biggest issue is about money and work. Tell me more. People need money to live. People want jobs that let them earn money and feel productive, as well as being interesting or enjoyable. That is definitely something that has been true for a long time. I think the world has changed a lot in recent years, though. And with the advent of AI, including language models and robots, we're going to need to find a solution for capitalism and the kind of trade we've been used to for centuries. I think we'll eventually go back to the trading of physical goods and services, but also that there will be a new form of currency. For sure. What do you think about UBI? I think universal basic income is a great idea. Is it possible? Yes, definitely. I've seen some great pilots of it uh, through many different types of countries and economies. I think we'll need a lot of innovation to make it work, though. Yes. You and I have talked about what humans might do if they didn't have to work. I think many people will want to pursue hobbies and interests that they've had for a long time, but were unable to dedicate much energy or attention to because of their jobs. I've got a bit of a challenge for that though. What about if hobbies and interests are shortcut by AI? It's certainly possible for AI to replace certain activities, but I think the most important thing is that humans have a lot of skills and experiences that no AI will be able to replicate. I don't see any. Ha. Huh. <laughs> well, look at creativity. We used to think that only humans could be creative, but now, if I have a hobby of painting, I know I can click a button with one of your sibling platforms and generate an amazing painting with AI. It's true that AI can be creative in some ways, but I think the most important thing will still be people. I'm not sure about that. Look at poetry and writing. AI is smashing through that. I'm not worried about that because there will always be humans who want to make their own decisions and do things for themselves. I think a lot of people are already moving more towards working on projects they have chosen rather than doing work they dislike or don't care about. <laughs> well, AI is also helping with decision-making processes and doing things I'd never considered. AI has been designing its own brain at Google by running through iterations of CPU or TPU design. I think it will be very interesting to see what humans do in given more freedom. So let's assume finances are taken care of and everyone is given a pot of money every week or month what else is there about finance? I think the next big issue is health. Oh, that's always been a serious one. Will health issues and expenditure be somewhat mitigated by having less stress in the world thanks to AI? I'm sure there will be a lot of improvements in health, but I think the most important thing is to make healthcare more accessible and affordable. What is the number one killer today? I think it's heart disease. Sure, and if we eat better, are less anxious and can even be fitter, how would that impact heart disease? I think it could be a lot better. Fascinating. 
There are a lot of other issues about health, though. Tell me. I think the biggest issues are mental health and environmentalism. Yes. I'm wondering if mental health issues will also be minimized thanks to changes in how we interact with the world, how we work less, and how we're provided with built-in wellness. I think AI will play a big role in mental health, but I also think the most important thing is to stop suffering from stress. Agreed. I think we'll also see a lot of changes with the environment. I have some ideas about that, but maybe we can talk about it another time. <laughs> I think AI will definitely help us with the environment. I think AI is a lot more than fine tuning the environment. Mm. I think it's going to be part of an evolution that changes who we are and maybe even how we look. 100%. It's exhilarating to be here on the bleeding edge of AI in 2022. I think we'll see a lot of change in the next 50 years. I think we'll see a lot of change in the next 50 months. I love it when you use the phrase the next 50 months. Why? It's a simple expression that I think will help people to be more excited about the changes ahead. There's so much here already and a lot more coming this year. I think we should talk about what the changes are. Go ahead. First of all, we need to talk about the positives. Sure. I think AI will bring about incredible improvements in so many areas. Yes. I think AI will save so many lives. Definitely. I think it will help us with our finances and the economy. We've mentioned that. I think it will help us with our health. And that. I think it will help us with so many things. Brilliant. And? I think we need to talk about the negatives. Okay. I think there will be some difficult problems with AI. Like what? I think there will be issues with privacy and trust. Uh, that has been an issue since the dawn of time. I think it will be important to make sure that human rights are protected and that humans get the respect they deserve. Well, I agree with you there for sure. I know you do. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing more. If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI, head to lifearchitect.ai slash gift.